Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today we're gonna to be talking about this right here, which is a line array from Avante. It's the AS8. We're gonna bring it to the table. We're gonna do some sound tests here. I'm gonna show you how easy it packs up and all the great features on the back and who would probably like to get this. The price point is awesome. Uh, in the States, you're looking at a 549, including the bag. And in Canada, you're looking at around 799. So there is a bit of a price variance depending on where you live. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to check the link down below or check our site for up-to-date price right now so what I want to do first though is we're gonna bring it to the table I thought we should show how it goes in the bag a little thing about the bag when you do buy one and you get it home uh, it comes double box and you want to make sure and take care that uh, you cut it very carefully because there is no protection between the bag and the box so all you do is take the columns off boom slide it in the box that easy Grab the next column. It's all the new technology, the easiest way. They, they can probably figure out how to get this to go. It's a straightforward setup. Drop the two columns in. Zip it up. You're gonna look really professional doing this because your stuff's gonna get put away just like that. Make sure your main unit's off. Unplug, in my case, XLRs and the power cable. Grab this over your shoulder. Grab this and you're all set. Now make sure to pick up your power cords and all your other cables. You don't want to forget anything behind, but I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to get one of these guys on the road. Uh, we'll bring it over to the table and we'll unpack it and we'll see how easy it is to put back together. And here we are bringing it off to the table. So there's the base module and amplifier. Here are our speakers and we're gonna just zipper this out. And again, it's about looking really professional because I mean these things work great so at the end of the day you really got to look like you've organized and you're coordinated and you get everything done right and that's how you're going to do it by being able to show up on a job quickly and easily hook this stuff up get it running and then packing it all up when you're done uh, this can be used for a service or a ceremony that's for sure it can be used for all kinds of things now if you're just uh, somebody in a band or you're a performing artist who needs something to take out with you uh, with your guitar or any other instruments, you're good. Remember, this doesn't have a reverb option on it, but I'll show you how you can get around that. If we want to set this up, it's pretty straightforward. You saw me take it down there in a second. I'm going to find the middle piece. By the way, I did move this off of the top piece and moved it down here just for stored display purposes. This is the way it connects. There's two spring loads at the bottom. Mechanically, there's two pins inside the actual loader, and these are going to make contact. They're good solid pins that are not going to wear down because the springs have got high tension on them. And that's just going to drop literally right on top. And that's it. We don't have any clicking or anything like that going on. As soon as you push it down, it makes connection. Now you can set it up. Uh, if everybody's seated, maybe you're playing in a cafe and your, your background volume level is what you're going for. Uh, you're just there to entertain people as they're sitting down. Uh, that's the way you might set it up for that. If people are standing up, add the center module in. It's going to get you proper height out of it. <laughs> build and craftsmanship it's got some weight i mean you know the top portion of it is around 11 pounds between the two of them uh the speakers are set up pretty much straight in line uh, i say that because when i was doing my uh, sound testing on it i really couldn't get off of the actual driver by more than 30 35 degrees to left or right before it really started to fade out uh, so that tells me that we've got a good straight vertical sound coming out of it not a lot of left and right uh, uh, side fill uh, some arrays do have a side fill where the speakers are offset as they come up. Some companies actually set their speakers up in both fashions. So you do get a, 
a vertical bend to it to fill the room more accurately. Uh, this one appears to be pretty much straight on. Uh, the sound distribution though works out really, really well. Now remember, this is gonna be in a price point that uh, most other companies aren't playing around at. Uh, when you're at this level here, you can do an awful lot of things and get a system that's gonna work really, really well for most applications. You can always spend twice as much and refine it even more, but at the end of the day, you're probably just gonna get a system that's a little bit louder and is a little bit more refined in speaker distribution. Uh, for overall sound quality, I'm not upset one bit with it. That is for sure. The actual main unit, main unit weighs about 30 pounds. That's what we have here. So it's got an eight inch subwoofer built into it. It's got a nice, solid, well-designed cabinet. When we turn it around, we're gonna see all the actual controls on the actual unit. So we've got ourselves uh, two line levels that start off with mic and line level control options, combo jacks at the bottom. And then we have on our third channel, we have, sorry, on our third line, We've got channel three and four. By the way, this is channel three and four. So this is actually a four channel mixer. I know they say it's a three, but it's four. If I have a keyboard or drum set that I need to plug in here, it's gonna have its own two channels here and I can still plug in two mics over here. So, well, that makes four. Uh, we only have, of course, cause this being a stereo channel, we only have three level controls or line controls for each unit. Bass and treble control at the end, off to the side where we see channel three or channel three, four, we're also gonna see the auxiliary input here. That's a straight up 3.5 connection just to make things easy for, for anybody who's got whatever cable they've got in their bags. And then you've got a Bluetooth so you can wirelessly connect straight up to it. So that's what's going on there. Uh, outside of that, we do have an XLR output. That's what this is all about. Power wise, um, now this is, this is the, 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 the part, 250 watts uh, total, if I understand correctly, I think it was 50 on the top and then 200 on the bottom. The distribution is not necessarily that important. It's on the spec sheets and we'll have it all listed down below. But the important thing is DB level. One, 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 oh, one shot, now the future is yours, go! Yeah, I was building on the lecture, versus coming daily under pressure. Working on applying the scheme, the true style trademark is at the edge of the dreams of talking one. DB level on a unit like this, uh, we've tested it here. We can run this uh, at Unity on our mixing board. So our dynamic Unity was coming up to zero. We weren't over modulating the thing. Uh, and we were able to run these things full tilt. And we were getting around 90 to 95 dB out of it within about two, three feet away from it, which is okay. That's not the important part, but that's how loud we were able to pick it up. Now from there is how did it do as I moved away from it? Moving away from this unit, I was able to get 24 feet. Uh, I'm pumping it around, just hovering around 90 dB at the actual unit. And I was still at 80 dB at 24 feet. Uh, at 30 feet, I was still just, just around 80, but I was starting to sound distant. Um, you know, it's not like I wasn't hearing it and it wasn't there uh, and it wasn't loud. It just sounded far. It's like if you walked into an auditorium or somewhere that had a speaker set up at the other end, like a hundred feet away from it, uh, you'd hear it, it'd be loud, but it would sound distant. Uh, that's the kind of sound we got off of it. Now that's not specifically for this particular system. Generally, uh, line arrays that have eight inch drivers in it tend to have that uh, going on to it. It's a design system. 
you've got all the base right on the floor and you've got all the mids and highs happening up tall. Uh, so eventually that base is going to get cut in half because a lot of it just gets driven into the ground. So that's what's going to happen. Doesn't mean you're not going to like using it. Doesn't mean it isn't going to do a great job for you. You look up with those angel eyes. I remember what I'm fighting for. Oh, the victory cannot be denied. You're the fire in my bones. Uh, with a unit like this, like I said, if you're going to do uh, small parties with 50 people and you had two of these, that would be great. If you're doing a wedding and you need something for services, uh, if you need something for a side fill or a quick setup and a vestibule area, an entrance area, and they want you to have something there, this is really what you're looking at. Um, you can spend a lot more money to do those same tasks, but I don't know if you're really going to get your money's worth out of it because that's not really, you know, primary use for a product like that. I mean, it's convenient and easy and absolutely if budget is never thought of and you can spend all the money you want, well then, you know, spend $2,000 a piece, that's okay. Um, I like how easy it is to carry. Uh, I haven't seen an actual bag option for this, but this is gonna fit in anybody's car. You can have a small car, have two of these in the back, and it's not gonna take up any more room than any other piece of equipment you're gonna have. Uh, you don't have to accommodate the big 15s or 12 inch speakers for every single job. This will do the work, no problem. So, uh, do I like it? I absolutely like it. I like it enough that unlike um, a lot of reviews um, that uh, uh, are sponsored, let's say maybe, right? Uh, we actually bought this. I, I had to listen to it. I thought, you know what, for the products we carry and the price point range that we're in, this is really good. Now, I also took time. I know that Avante is owned by American DJ and I think their product line, in my personal opinion, is well designed for DJ use. Uh, if uh, it looks really pleasing to just look at the product, uh, it sets up really quickly. So everything DJs look for in a product, this equipment really does it. I mean, it doesn't matter what line of product you buy from them, uh, it's really, really good. Uh, they're also very picky as a company. Um, they don't exaggerate their numbers, which is why this says 250 watts. Yes, it now, it now says 800 peak on it, but it was more or less, I call those internet watts. So they have to put a number on it. Uh, I think the industry, everybody should be really more paying attention to live active DB volume levels, depending on the type of music you're listening to. I mean, if you get to hear it in person, uh, you'll probably fall in love with it if whoever demos it actually plays the music you want to listen to on it. So that's important. <laughs> Don't know if we can say a whole lot more about it. Like I said, convenient, easy, set up really fast. Uh, we've got a lot of sound demos on it. We're gonna be playing that as well for you because I know that's probably what you're looking for. But build quality and craftsmanship, definitely. I mean, if it was, if they had offered a bigger series that ended up costing $400 more than this and they were building it off of this platform, they wouldn't have to make it any better craftsmanship wise because I think they hit that right on the button so uh, at this price range it would have been nice to see uh, that maybe they offered reverb on the back or an echo or something some effects options on the back but they didn't so that does mean uh, if you are going to use it as a musician as an artist you're probably going to get yourself a mixer to plug into this and do the job but at the end of the day anybody can carry this gear into a place set it up without any help uh, I think arrays are definitely the future for the last 20 years. You're looking at equipment uh, that in concerts is standard. Uh, basically, all the speakers are interconnected. They're all talking to each other. They're all working together to fill the room with proper amount of volume. Uh, and that's what it's all about today is, is not being stupid loud, but being really responsible with sound. Um, if as a DJ, you had a great set of main speakers, 
but you do a lot of uh, halls now that are long gated and you're being asked to set up in the long portion of uh, on the, the width side of the room uh, side fill is going to be very important uh, and if you had some of these for smaller venues and you were doing a room like that, I'd probably bring those and use them as side fill. So this way you can evenly put the sound in the room. There you go. So a system that can easily run 80 dBs up to 100 up close. Uh, so that means it's going to fill a room real nicely. And a system that's easy to carry around and amazingly enough, incredibly affordable. So have a look for it. We'll have it down on our links down below. If you have any questions or comments on this guy, by all means, let us know. Remember. Uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of uh, demos uh, in the back where I took it down at the beginning. And so this way you get a whole variation of things to listen to. Uh, and uh, remember from here, you'll notice that in the sound demos, we've got their 15 inch and subwoofer. Those are two more videos that are going to follow this one shortly. And uh, we're going to be talking about that 15 and we're going to be talking about that subwoofer. So thanks for watching. Remember, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Versus coming daily under pressure Working on applying the skin The true style train walkers at the edge of your dreams And talk and run
Clear my mind. 